morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga and I'm Pat Paris. We begin with an incredible story you'll only see on Kagan 9. We first told you about 32 year old Martina Villalobos in February and he had been riding his motor bike when he crashed into a hole. He suffered a back injury and was stuck for four days in the hole until a homeless man found him. Now the Good Samaritan went to a nearby gas station and got help, but since Villalobos rescue, it's been a long road to recovery. Nine on your sides, Danell Confair talked with him today. Joins us now, Danell, an amazing story of survival here. Truly remarkable, Pat and Heidi. Now he was stuck in a hole off Ina near the train tracks for four days. Every day, a test to his faith and strength to survive. Once you get desperate, you start doing stuff. Like regardless, you, you start doing anything for survival. 32-year-old Martin Villalobos had crashed his motorbike into a hole off a dirt path near Ina in the I-10. After waking up several hours later, he realized he could no longer move his legs. And I couldn't move, honestly. I had my pants, uh, my phone was in my cargo pants for writing, and it ended up falling on this pocket. So it took me a whole day to figure out a way on how I could stretch without hurting myself to get my phone out. By the time he managed to grab his phone, it was dead. He says he knew every day was a day of survival. And then the other thing, I had four broken ribs, so I had to put pressure on here and then scream for help. That was the only, and then talk to God, honestly. I told him, save me and, you know, or if not take me the last day because it was so bad. No water. No food, no water, and with the nights and early morning dropping down to 40 degree temps, he says his riding gear luckily kept him warm enough. So then I found rocks and I started putting rocks in my mouth, and that's what uh, triggered saliva. So that's what kept my mouth moist. On the fourth day, he says he heard a man ask him about his bike. He knew it would be his only chance to get help. I'm literally going to die if you don't help me. And he left me a flashlight and he left it on. He said, I'll be back. That good Samaritan, a homeless man who had just happened to be walking by. The next few days and weeks would be a time of healing and recovery. Anything changes quick. So I just learn how to enjoy life and appreciate the little things that God gives you and life gives you in general. Martine is now back at home, determined to heal and walk again. You know how many times I heard doctors saying you're not going to walk no more, like kind of. This is going to be your wheelchair life, this and that. I'm like, you, you ain't going to tell me. You know, why? Just because you go off the book? Well, technically, I shouldn't be alive for four days either, right? Now, during our interview, Martin told me he thought of his 14-year-old daughter every day. He was in the hole knowing he needed to fight to survive so he could see her again. Pat and Heidi. Wow.